What's up guys, NM Fitness here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about taking testosterone with MK677. I don't mean to hit my table that hard. Sometimes shit happens. Let's go ahead. All the time, do I think taking MK677 along with testosterone is a good idea? Now, do I think it's a good or bad idea? That's really kind of irrelevant. There's a lot of people that use it to get great results. I think that it makes sense whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea is gonna be kind of on you, right? Because everything has its own side effects and its own repercussions. You guys need to do the research to understand MK677 as well as testosterone individually so that you understand what to expect and what could possibly happen to your body from using things like this. But to me, MK677 and testosterone used together makes perfect sense. Why do I say that? MK677 is a growth hormone secretagogue. It is not a SARM like most people say, although it does often fall into that SARMs category. Chances are if you're on some peptide website or even my website, performancelabs.com, it's gonna be under the SARM category because that's just what people do. But it's actually a growth hormone secretagogue. So what it does is it tells the body to produce and release more growth hormone, which inevitably raises your IGF-1 levels. Now. Another way people do this is by injecting HGH, which is human growth hormone. But what you're doing in that case is you're straight up injecting that growth hormone. You're not signaling your body to produce more growth hormone like you would be with MK677. Regardless of which one you're using, the idea is that you're raising IGF-1 levels in the body, regardless if you're using MK or you're injecting your own growth hormone. Growth hormone and, and testosterone have been paired together for years and years and years for people to get significant muscle growth over time and get it pretty rapidly compared to not using it at all. The reason why this happens is because things like MK677, by increasing that IGF-1 level, feeds new muscle fibers. If you guys look at your muscles, you're gonna have a lot of short little tiny fibers that are just waiting for the signal to grow. It's different than trying to grow the current muscle that you have. MK677 or HGH, whichever one you guys wanna use, over time will signal new muscle fibers to grow. Now, when you back that with something like testosterone that raises the anabolic level of the body in general, all that's going to do is help feed those new muscle fibers so that they can grow a little faster, get stronger a little faster, and catch up to the current muscle fibers that you have a little bit faster. This whole thing takes time though, and that's the biggest thing people fail to understand. Whether you're taking growth hormone or, or MK, it doesn't really matter. Either one of these things is gonna take three to four months possibly for you to start visibly seeing results. Now, with MK specifically, you might start feeling results or feeling what MK is doing sooner than that. I, When I was taking MK within two weeks, I noticed the first thing was that I was sleeping like a tank. I would fall asleep and I would stay asleep. I wouldn't move almost at all during the entire night. For me personally, that alone was worth the MK. But to physically see more muscle size or to feel more muscle size from using MK and testosterone. It can take a few months, but I think personally that it's one of the better stacks that people can do to get that muscle growth and to grow new muscle fibers, okay? To, to be able to take your body and take it to a different genetic potential that it wouldn't have had before is definitely beneficial. But again, this all comes with different risks, different side effects, and we've went over that many, many times. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this video, particularly going over that. You guys can go back and watch my old videos, or you can do research on MK or testosterone in general to see what those things are. What I'm telling you guys is that that stack is probably one of the most popular stacks for people to do when it comes to mixing things like anabolics and SARMs or anabolics and growth hormones or cretagogues, whatever you guys want to call it at this point, together. All right. It's probably one of the most, the most popular stacks for people to do. At the end of the day, you guys have to make your own decisions and figure out what's gonna be best for you. I'm just here to give you guys information based on all the people that I talk to and the research that I do. But I really hope this video helps you guys out and provide you some necessary information. If you guys want MK677, I call it methodical on my Performance Labs website. That website address is performancelabs.com with a Z at the end of the word labs, not an S, all right? So make sure you guys get that right. Or you guys can just go down to the description in this video, click my link tree link, and you can head there straight from, from here on this video itself. If you're watching this on TikTok, it's just right on my page under my bio. And if you guys use code TikTok10, you're gonna get a 10% discount on that MK for you so we can save you guys some money as well. I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon on the next video.